Okay, in this module, we are creating an announcement. So Black or My Open Math doesn't have a special create announcement um, function like maybe Blackboard does or some other LMSs. So instead, we're gonna within the folder module one, um, we're gonna click on add an item, and any kind of text that you want to um, add to the course, you would just click on add inline text. So we can name our announcement um, week one or whatever we'd like. And in here, we're going to type the announcement. So during this week and etc. So you're going to put your announcement here. Um, you can add pictures, you can add equations, you can add graphs to your announcement. Um, you'll notice that you have the options to make things bold. Um, you can change the size so it's a little bit larger, and you can pick which font you would like. And um, this can you can change whether it's just normal paragraph text or a heading. Um, and basically, what you see is what you get. Uh, if I click heading one, then it's going to make it look like it's going to be larger and bolder, basically. Um, you can do subscripts and superscripts if you'd like. You can cut, copy, paste. You can paste word, paste from word, and there's an undo and a redo button, just like you would have in, in uh, Microsoft Word or something like that. Um, we can change the alignment so it can be centered to the right, to the left, or in the middle, um, or like this, the align full. Um, and you can also do some numbering or in bulleting, bulleting. And uh, we can change the color of our text right here. Um, so these are some basic colors that, that are available, but there are more colors by clicking here. And then you can click anywhere you want on this here, say apply. And it changes the color for us. And we can also highlight it. Um, so highlight it in yellow. Let's see what, that's what we have here. Um, if we select some text, then we're able to insert a link, but we're going to learn about that um, a little bit later on. And um, there's some special characters with this button. And we can put a picture in using the little tree here. And um, so I already have some pictures loaded in my uh, picture tree. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's just a picture of the tree. So if you've uploaded any pictures before, then um, you can find them in here. So rectangle with diagonal. We're going to insert that picture. And it's pretty tiny, but we can drag it and make it bigger. Um, we can insert an attachment. The only thing with that is you have to give it a name. So you give it a name and then you just find your attachment and click insert and it'll put it in there for you. Um, you can put a table in here if you want. Um, so one thing I like to do when I'm putting a table in, so two columns, two rows, and then change the border to one if you want it to have a border. Um, and then you can take, you know, put in whatever you'd like for your text. Um, and down here you have the equation editor. So if this is a math course, you see that a little red box with um, in like quotes in between. So if I start typing like x squared in here um, plus the square root of 20, um, it'll format that uh, correctly for me. And if I need a special symbol, like I want to put in uh, integration, for example, um, there's a preset symbol for that, and you can change it, though. You can change the parameters. And um, lastly, I'll go over the graph. Uh, so you can put any kind of graph you want under f of x, and there's different equation types here. And... Um, you can change the from and the to, the domain, 
but just make sure you click on add graph and then insert. If you don't click on add graph, then it won't put it in. So those are some options uh, in, in any text that you open up, if you're sending a message, sending an email, or posting in a forum, you'll have all of those options. So since this is an announcement, we do want to show by certain date. So uh, it's always going to put in the today's date, and I like to make it 12 a.m. Uh, as my starting time, and then I want this to end a week from today. Um, and it, it automatically does that. It makes it a one week from the day that you start it. And since it's not an assignment, we don't have to worry about placing it on the calendar. We'll just click on Create Item, and we have our first announcement here. 